from LA, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very, very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And uh, if it's okay with you, my dear friends, I'd like to continue on and indeed conclude our discussions with respect to another great release from the Criterion Collection. Uh, this is at spine number 1207, respectively. Um, and it's this work, which is the 4K UHD release of the Heroic Trio and Executioners. And it's under a single release. Now, we have been speaking a bit about each of these films, respectively. And so what I propose to do now is just to round out the discussion with some other points about this release overall. Uh, the cover art design and the insert and the writing and some other comments to uh, conclude our discussion of these great two films. Uh, again, I'm uh, overall quite impressed and very happy with this Criterion release uh, uh, because of the opportunity, uh, among other reasons, because of the opportunity to be able to watch uh, these films uh, and to enjoy them in this uh, great grand spectacle. Uh, so what I've done is I'm now going to take this, uh, this is a plastic case and as I mentioned it is a three disc set and so you have it looking like this one disc which is right here which is having having the red motif is the 4k UHD disc which has both films and then here uh, on the other side uh, the blu-rays uh, the two blu-rays one for the hero trio which has this light blue motif and the other for the executioners underneath which has a yellow motif and it's in the stacked way so uh, to my understanding they don't touch each other so that's really nice and then on this side you'd have the insert uh, which goes here which is housed in that way uh, so I, I like the, uh, the the font usage here and uh, you know it's not a digipack it's a plastic case but that's okay with me um, uh, the, the the discs there fit rather snugly it's nice um, and also the uh, the the artwork now I should point out the artwork which is all and the use of the font and the artwork uh, which is also carried over in the uh, the blu-ray uh, the 4k disc menu designs which we uh, saw a little of when I was talking about the films and I put the discs in the machine as I was speaking in some of the parts of the video uh, but in terms in terms of the art here, I should point out art director Sarah Habibi, Eric Skillman, uh, illustrator Alex X. Zhang, uh, designer Eric Skillman, art production coordinator William Breeze, art assistant Julie Sussman. So uh, kudos. I love this artwork. I absolutely love this artwork. It, it has uh, the, the primary colors element to it, um, and uh, the, the main characters, uh, our trio in question here, uh, depicted in this wonderful, uh, this, this almost literary wuxia, uh, heroic legends way, which I think is so brilliant, so great. Uh, so well done for being able to do this. I really, really love this uh, artwork design. It is uh, totally, totally epic. So, um, and then I've taken the liberty of removing the uh, well, just now uh, the uh, the fold out insert. Uh, which is right here, and it folds out to reveal a poster on one side, and then the back side reveals the writing. So I've shown this before. This is the poster, uh, the way it looks here. Again, it's a replica of what we have in terms of the artwork. So it's wonderful to have a large... Uh, a, a version of the great artwork already, which is really nice, and, you, and I can look at the the intricate design and details of this. This really, this is absolutely epic. Well done. I love the font as well. I think that's really cool. Um, I I must say I'm not a fan, however, of this actual fold out format, and specifically too, I'm not a fan of the poster fold out uh, because it is somewhat. Uh, uh, again, to my to, to to my own subjective taste, it's somewhat uh, difficult to handle all the time, especially if I'm uh, trying to uh, read the the essay, which is uh, uh, one of the reasons I I I I, uh, I draw my attention to the uh, to the insert. But um, but in any event, uh, it's okay. It doesn't take away from the greatness of the artwork that's on display here, which is really fantastic, by the way. I don't want to uh, de-emphasize that in the slightest. It's really, really one of the best artwork designs so far. Um, and it's not impossible to read the essay, which is on the back here, So and also the information about the disc. So the essay is, as I mentioned earlier, uh, To the Power of Three by Beatrice Loaza. 
so it's uh, really quite a wonderful, uh, wonderful essay. A very comprehensive, uh, touching about uh, upon certain aspects of the Hong Kong film industry writ large, and then also talking about Chin Su Tung and Johnny Do, and then uh, speaking in some parts about uh, in a lot of great parts about the the duology of this these films, and then speaking about uh, some of the thematic concerns about how uh, of the, the films individually uh, and how they figure uh, individually in that way, with some pictures along the way. So. Uh, my strong suggestion is to uh, watch the two films first, and then you can read this great essay to the power of three. But uh, I think you are in for a real treat because it's another fantastic, fantastic essay. So please check that out if you can. Um, and then if I could maybe uh, address a few uh, critiques that I have about this, uh, in addition to the fold-out poster design of the insert, which I'm now putting back here. I think another thing to keep in mind too is that it is, um, it, it, it's, um, uh, well, another thing is the films themselves don't have their own spine number individually, but that's, I don't know if I'd call that a critique. I don't mind that. Uh, I don't mind that at all. Uh, but maybe one thing that I could uh, mention as a gentle critique is I would have loved to have seen more supplements. Uh, I would have loved to have seen uh, something more. It does feel a little bit light. On the supplements, uh, but I don't want to take away from what we already have uh, in terms of the great uh, interviews that we have, uh, Sam Negan and then uh, Anthony Wong, uh, and then because uh, they themselves are really fantastic. But uh, again, uh, and also the opportunity to watch the, the films themselves, which is itself uh, the the main event, as in a manner of speaking. So um, it's great to have these two films together in this way, so you can have the the one-two punch of uh, the Heroic Trio and Executioners, uh, and it's so much fun. To watch them back to back and they're a great double bill uh, but it would have been nice to have had some more supplements that's for sure uh, but oh well oh well again c'est la vie uh, and it didn't take away uh, it didn't detract from my uh, overall enjoyment of these two works uh, very very much so I, I really enjoyed these films uh, and then revisiting them here I, I really did uh, and just seeing how uh, um, mind warping genre bending uh, ultra ultra uh, fantastic forms of entertainment they are and they're very similar and then different in in, in those respects so they form a great uh, symbiotic relationship in terms of uh, uh, film and sequel and then in terms of of uh, uh, you know companion films etc and a continuation of stories and, and relationships and character and story arcs that really reach their like, triumphant and uh, uh, full body conclusion um, uh, when you go from one film to the other so uh, well done uh, well done indeed so it's so great to be able to revisit these films and uh, it's a great opportunity to celebrate uh, their le long lasting le legacy which uh, I know will be very very long lasting to come so uh, this is the release which is the heroic trios and executioners so, my dear friend, so that's it uh, as far as our discussions of this great release go. Uh, but how do you feel about these films, my dear friends? Please, of course, let me know in the comment section below. As always, I am so, so happy to hear what it is you have to say. All right, my dear friends, so that's it for now. And so until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well. And please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies, including The Heroic Trio, including Executioners, including other films by Johnny Doe, including other films in the Criterion Collection, and beyond. beyond. So until, my, until the next video, my dear, dear friends, stay strong, stay safe, and cheers.